Hey y'all, Jen Hernandez, Loan with Jen. Okay, I have a special expert today on collections on your credit report. So Louisa and I are gonna be right back. Okay, y'all, we're talking today about collections on your credit report. I have Louisa Deason with Deason's Consulting Services. They are a credit restoration company. She pulls thousands of credit <laughs> reports. So she is the expert. I know what I see, but I mean, I'm an expert, but not I'm a mini expert, okay? She's the expert. So tell me, collections on the credit report, just give us some basics on how long they're allowed to be on there and how to get them removed. Well, let's talk about the myth. Most people think that because something goes into collections and they don't have to pay it, and that's that's a myth. There is some debt owed. The company that bought that and it's turned into a collection actually may have paid 40 to 60 cents on the dollar. So there is legally something still owed, but it's always negotiable. So what if, let's say I get a collection and it's $30, and, and by the way, y'all, $30 collection has the same effect on your credit score points as a $10,000 collection. It's the act of the collection. Right. But let's say I forgot to pay a medical bill, 30 bucks. I never knew about it because I changed addresses, never got the mail, and this collection like shows up on there. So, I mean, it's not my fault. I didn't get the notice. Like, what do I do? Well, and not always are you going to get the notice because they always say they're going to send it somewhere and it's always to the wrong address or something happens. But what we usually suggest is try to settle that debt. It is negotiable and the way you want to ask them to remove it is if I agree to pay this in full or agree to a number or an amount, then what I want you to do is I not only want you to report it as paid as agreed, I want it legally removed from my reports. So they don't have to do that, right? They don't have to delete it if they don't want to. Well, most often they don't delete it. That's why we suggest there's certain verbiage you want to negotiate the debt down to and then force them to remove it from that or report it as paid in full so we can then remove it. But what if I'm just, I'm a collection guy and I'm just, I'm getting paid commission on how many collections I collect that day and I'm like, yay, I'll, I'll, I'll delete it from your report. Sure, pay me the money. How do I make sure that it gets done? So with restoration, under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, they must remove it once it's paid. Oh, interesting, yes. I didn't know that. Okay, So they cool. have to respond to you in writing, to the consumer in writing, saying we've now legally removed this. So if they don't do those kinds of things and they're not following the law, we hold those credit bureaus to the law in which we dispute that item from. And then, so if they, like let's say I'm not using credit restoration and that doesn't happen, like where do I go? Like, how do I... Unfortunately, you know, the there's police. a lot of, well, there's no police. That's why we do everything under the Fair Credit Reporting Act of 1971, because legally they must respond in a certain time frame. Okay. So that's the difference between be careful who you use. Ask a lot of questions. We always go back to, is it repair or is it restoration? Okay. So maybe start by Googling the Fair Credit Reporting Act of 1971 yes. and yes. see what that says. Okay, exactly. cool. So here's another thing I see a lot is collections. We see a lot of collections are renewed. So let's say I had a collection eight years ago and then all of a sudden it's showing up as a new collection and it's super old. Like what's that about? So different states have different statutes of limitations, but if you really want that move, that item completely removed from your reports, the suggestion is to negotiate the debt. Now, if you have proof that before it was resold again, you made an agreement and you paid that off, then they're reporting it inaccurately. And we're not looking for them to report it at 97% accuracy. We're looking for 100% accuracy. You can legally fight that off. So I need to dispute it yes. with the bureaus. Yes and they're going to investigate it yes and find that it's not valid and the way to dispute it is you're going to ask them you're going to say this is not my account you're going to send them a copy of your social security number and a copy of your address verification otherwise it will not receive that dispute if you do it yourself but it's important to put on there this is no longer my account okay and i'm sending it to the bureaus yes and then it's a burden okay. on them to prove that they have the original document tying you to the new debt so the bureaus, I send it to the bureaus, I should do it by mail or do I do it on? It's all done by mail. It's all done by yes. mail. And I send it to them certified? You can. Okay. But you don't have to. You don't have I to. I would certainly, um, if you want somebody to sign on that end, that's great, but they, they, they're not going to. And then. We don't really send anything certified mail. And then the bureaus have how long that they have to investigate it and send you something in writing? They have 30 writing. days legally to review the validity of what we're fighting off and then okay. another 15 days to respond in writing. Failure okay, to do good. so can end up with a threat saying we're going to be 
filing a formal complaint against you with the Attorney General. Against the Bureau? Yes. Oh, wow. That's cool. the difference between repair and restoration. Okay, got it. Well, very good. Well, she knows what she's talking about. So her info is down on the screen. Contact her. You can do business in all 50 states, right? That's right. Awesome. Good luck, everybody. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.